guys. My name is Caitlin and I am from grassfedgirl.com and I'm so excited you're joining me today. We're going to be talking about prepping for coronavirus as a carnivore. So I think we're already very well prepared because a lot of us keep a lot of meat in our freezer and we already have a very minimal lifestyle where we don't need a lot of things to survive. So I think that we're already ahead of the game when it comes to prepping for coronavirus and being at home and self quarantined for many days. And I think it's about two weeks we're supposed to buy food for. Um, I actually have a deep freezer down in my basement. It's about half full. Um, I also have a freezer up here in my kitchen and it's pretty full, but that's pretty normal for me. Um, I love to grocery shop and I love to shop at local farms and farmers markets. So I always have a lot of things on hand. Um, I also love to cook. I've written cookbooks and you know, I'm just a foodie. So I love all that stuff. And I think that it's important to have things anyway, just to be ready for the day to day challenges of life. When it comes to coronavirus prep, you're really way ahead of the game because the foods that we eat on a carnivore diet are very nutrient dense. Um, they have a lot of zinc, iron, uh, vitamin E, vitamin A, D, K. These are all very immune supporting vitamins and they're hard to find in vegan diets or plant-based diets, but they're abundant and plentiful in the carnivore diet. So it's important to have those foods on hand anytime and especially when we need to have our immune system as strong as possible. So we're gonna go through some of the things that I have here so that I'm ready for my 14 days of self quarantine. So I was out of town for about a month. So when I got home, this was before, about a week before all the news really started to hit. And I just went to Sam's and Costco just in case because you know, there were starting to be rumblings and I just wanted to make sure I had, and also I'd been gone for a while, so I didn't have a lot of stuff at home. So I went shopping and I got a lot of stuff. So always make sure you've got some eggs. I eat eggs at least once a day, um, or I add them to meals, like to stretch meals. If I don't have a lot of steak, I'll add this or I'll add it to hamburger. Um, you can make a meal bigger and it also is a really good source of healthy fats. So these are from Costco, pastured eggs. So I always keep my eggs stocked up and I have more than that, don't worry. Um, I love the ghee at Costco, it's very affordable and ghee is, it has the dairy solids removed. So I like to get ghee and have it on hand. I make, I put a little bit of my coffee in the morning and I also uh, use it for cooking. It's, it has a very high smoke point, so you don't have to worry about it burning like butter. Um, of course, we do have butter. I've got this kind of a cheap butter. I got it from Sam's Club, um, but I didn't know if I was going to go to the store again, so I just kind of got this as a backup. I usually buy Kerrygold butter at Costco, um, but I didn't this time. But this one is okay, and it tastes all right, and you could always make ghee out of it too if you wanted to, um, but it's good to always have butter on hand just in case. Um, if you do eat cream, I don't eat cream much because I really just love it and I can't stop. But my husband loves cream, so yeah, we bought some cream. You can make like a curry type sauce or an Alfredo type sauce if you're on carnivore. Um, make sure and get some, this is great, some canned fish, especially if we are um, under some sort of emergency. These never go bad. So I stocked up on a lot of canned fish. I got these Wild Planet sardines. I like to make them into sardine cakes. Um, that recipe's in my ebook that is down below in the description box. I have a 26 recipe carnivore ebook. It's all about how to get started on a carnivore diet. So we have sardine cakes. I like to eat them with a little mustard. And these are wonderful, very nutrient dense. They have a lot of calcium because they have the bones still in them. You can get the ones also at Costco without the bones. Um, so this, this is a great thing for having in your pantry. It's not going to go bad. I got some tuna. Um, this tuna is a really good value. And I didn't want to be, you want to get the non albacore. So the yellowfin tuna has less mercury. Um, this is salmon. I got this at Sam's Club. 
it has the bones and stuff in it. You can pick it out or you can just smush it all together. You really won't taste it. They kind of just uh, disintegrate in there. And I like to make also salmon cakes with these, or you can put this in, um, you can put it with your eggs, something like that. Now it makes sure and stock up on cheese. Um, this cheese from Costco, I think they have it at Sam's Club too. It's a Dubliner Kerrygold. So it's an Irish cheese, uh, supposedly grass fed, you know, that's kind of the jury's out on that, but it is a high quality cheese. And you know, you want to be stocked up on cheese. If you do eat cheese, I have more goat cheese for me in there. I seem to tolerate goat cheese better than cow dairy. So I have, um, I have this for my husband and then I also have a goat cheese for me and you always want to make sure you have salt. I like Redmond salt. Um, I'm out right now. They're sending me some more. But this one is the Costco sea salt. And this is good. This is cheap, but you can have this keep. I keep about three of these around just in case. Um, I never want to run out of salt. So I like to have a lot of, um, I have a lot of collagen and gelatin around. I like this brand. It's, I'll put the link down below in my Amazon shop. This is Further Food. It's a really good deal. Um, I don't think it's overpriced like some of the other ones and uh, it's a woman owned company. So I like that. Okay. My husband loves chicken. So I always stock up on a lot of chicken at Costco. They have these wings, these organic chicken wings. Um, these are very tasty. They have the flats. See, I like the flats. That's why we say Mary so long. I like the flats and he likes the, the drumettes. So it's a perfect combination. Costco also has these boneless thighs. Um, you can see these are frozen, but you can see they come in packs of three and, um, these are really great because they cook really fast and you can just thaw out one at a time. So you don't waste any, and I love the thighs. I don't, I don't bother with chicken breast unless I buy the whole, um, chicken. So that's a really good thing. Um, I got these grass fed patties at Costco. This is the first time I've ever seen them. They're actually 80-20. As you can see, I've already eaten some of them. Um, they're 80-20, which is, so these are tasty. They don't have a lot of, I mean, they have more fat than some of the others, which is very good. So this was a good deal. I don't know how much it was, maybe 12 or $15. I didn't even look. Um, but I wanted to stay stocked up because I eat a lot of ground beef. So it's more bargain friendly than this company, Colorado Craft Beef was really nice to send me these um, big box of beef. This is a sirloin, but look at all that marbling. I love this company. They have really good beef. I'll put the link also down below. You can use the code grassfed girl to save. Um, I love this stuff and I have several other cuts in my freezer. And then, you know, one thing, especially during a budget time when you need to be a little more thrifty, um, look in your freezer because I actually have a lot of organ meats in my freezer, though this is a good time to cook those up uh, because we need to stay on top of our game with our immune system and these are the most nutrient dense. So this is chicken liver I got from a local farm as well. So I could cook these up with some butter or ghee and salt and, <laughs> salt and pepper or you use pepper, whatever, and then these are really tasty. I love these, um, and they're very cheap, so that's a great thing about liver. And then I also got a tongue. I love, I love tongue. If you've never had tongue, then you're missing out because it really tastes like a barbacoa. Um, once you cook it in a slow cooker, it just falls apart. And I have a recipe on my blog for tongue tacos. It's more of a keto recipe, but it. It just tells you how to cook the tongue. And this is this was only $5, so that's a lot of meat. And once you cook it, the out, outer shell just falls off and it's super tender and just, it's super fatty. So I love this. If you're wanting some less lean meat, this is the way to go. It's so good. You're missing out. Don't be afraid of the packaging. Just um, make sure you suck up on coffee because um, I drink decaf, I know, but I have adrenal fatigue problems from years ago. So I never really um, went back to regular coffee after my health breakdown about 10 years ago. So um, it really helps with my cravings and stuff and I don't get that crash in the afternoon. So I love my decaf and um, this is a really flavorful one. It's hard to find decaf that doesn't taste like crap. So 
Um, when I find one, I stick with it. So that was also from Costco. One more thing about immune support is you wanna make your immune system as strong as possible. So what I like to do is keep Thieves essential oil on hand at all times. So I'll show you this one. This is one of my favorite oils. It's called Thieves Essential Oil, and it's a blend that was used in the 15th century um, by some thieves to stay healthy while they were sealing off the dead bodies of victims of the plague. So it's pretty amazing stuff. And I like to keep it all the time. Whenever I get a little tickle in my throat, I just start taking it and it makes me stronger and I wake up feeling amazing and so much better. So um, I love my Thieves oil. And then I also use, they have a Thieves spray. This can all be uh, bought down in the link within the profile at grassfedoils.com. So you can spray this in your throat. You can spray it on your hands as a sanitizer. Um, or you can use the, this is a pump soap. This one is really good too. Uh, use this whenever you come in from outside or you were with other people. Always wash your hands a lot during this time. Um, so those are my three favorite Thieves products and they will keep your immune system strong so that you're ready to face the challenges that we're coming up against every day now. Okay, I was gonna show you how I make a Thieves capsule. So I have my little capsule here. This is a gelatin capsule. You can get these on Amazon in my Amazon shop. So you just put a few drops of thieves, three or four drops in the capsule. And then just put the lid on. You could add some olive oil in there or something if you wanted to. And uh, you just take it. And you wanna take some water and it's just amazing and that is a safe way. You want to make sure it's the Thieves Vitality. That means it's the safe one for ingestion and um, it just supports your immune system and keeps you strong. Okay guys, one more thing I wanted to show you is this awesome Thieves Cleaner. So this is a concentrate and you just put a cap full into a spray bottle and add water and you make a great cleaner it's good for bathrooms and tubs and showers and kitchens and everything you really only need this cleaner in your house and sometimes i use maybe some baking soda or um, something like that but this is pretty much all i use it is amazing stuff and this will last you for months like maybe six months or a year even and so you can use this awesome cleaner anytime you want your house to be really clean and fresh and it has no chemicals, it's completely non-toxic. And I've been using this for about five years and I just love it so much. You can get the full Thieves kit down in my description box. And it has all these products that I've showed you that are Thieves products. And it's amazing essential oil that is great for cleansing your home without chemicals. Of course, everyone's talking about it. Toilet paper, <laughs> don't worry, this is not my last roll. It's from Costco, um, but you know, you don't really have to worry about toilet paper. I really don't think that's something that's gonna run out. Um, and we actually have a sprayer on our toilet uh, that will help you to not have to use toilet paper. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a DIY bidet, I guess. So that's something that you can use. You can get one off Amazon and put it on your toilet. It works pretty well and it's really cheap. So if you're worried about toilet paper, you can use that. You know, also remember you can always take a shower or you can just um, use a washcloth and throw it in the washing machine. So there's a lot of options, don't freak out. And you know, the great thing about the carnivore diet is when you're, you're more regulated with your digestive system so you don't have to worry about so many bathroom problems that you may have had in the past. You may be wondering about some other supplements. Um, you know, a carnivore, a lot of people don't like supplements and they say we don't need them. And, you know, I normally would say no, uh, that we don't need them, but you know, I'm a little freaked out lately too. So um, I got some zinc. That's just a really good immune support. You can get that down in my Amazon shop and you just take one of these per day. This is uh, 50 milligrams. So that's really good. And then I got vitamin D three. This is 5,000 I use. So I would take one of those per day. And um, 
So those are the supplements that I've added in just to be on the safe side and get some extra support for this challenging time. Another thing to think about during this time is, you know, you don't have to go shopping yourself. You can um, do click lists. I know Kroger or Ralph's has that. You can also um, do Instacart. You can also do, I have an Instacart discount down below. You can also do Amazon Prime now that is de delivering with your Amazon account. So you just need the Prime Now app. Also, um, you can do uh, just Amazon for dry goods. Costco, if you order a certain amount of non-perishables, it's free shipping and they'll ship it right to your house. So if you wanted to get um, the canned seafood or something like that or cleaning products or coffee or anything like that that's non-perishable, you can get that delivered from Costco. So don't take any chances. You don't have to go out if you don't need to. Um, they can bring this stuff to you. So, um, and another idea, my parents yesterday, they went out to a local farm and bought um, stuff from a local farmer. So they didn't have to be in contact with a lot of people and they just bought their stuff and went back home and they were outside. So um, that's another good option. So remember local farmers and buying those little more obscure cuts like I was talking about um, will be cheaper and will also be more available than the lean cuts that we're used to people running out of. One more thing I wanted to mention is don't isolate yourself. I know you're not supposed to go out, but call a friend, do FaceTime, um, read some good books, read some positive things. Don't watch the news 24-7. Uh, get out for a walk if you can. Go into the woods or go in a neighborhood where there won't be many people. And it's really important to do self-care and sleep as much as you can during this time. So I hope that's been helpful and you have some good ideas about prepping for the coronavirus and self-quarantine over the next two weeks as a carnivore. And like I said, you're already way ahead of the game and you're doing awesome. Just keep it up because we're going to get through this together and we just have to be good people, good citizens, good neighbors and to keep ourselves safe and stay home and take take good care of ourselves and we'll be on the other side of this before you know it so thanks so much for watching if you have any suggestions leave them down in the comments and please like this video and leave a thumbs up and share with a friend subscribe so you never miss one of my new videos i really appreciate it see you next time bye bye